hey guys welcome to another video so as you guys can see i'm in a hotel room i am traveling for work and i do like to bring a camera with me and normally it's the x100v it is a fantastic camera for traveling uh you guys all hopefully have heard of this camera and understand the hype around it you know it's, its size makes it very portable the fact is the fixed lens 35 mil equivalent gives you an opportunity to go out and get some wonderful pictures with that focal length and angle of view you can also put the teleconverter conversion lens on it along with the wide to give yourself more lens options you can use a digital converter blah 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 blah, blah. it's loaded it's packed it's very versatile uh, but this time i wanted to be able to give myself restrictions i wanted to be able to challenge myself when i go out and do some street photography with something that just isn't as loaded uh and you guys probably guessed it i brought the 50 r with me gfx and i brought the 50 mil lens as well and one uh, i don't have an nd filter on this built in um it does have a flip screen on it but it's medium format as you guys can see from this sensor there we go and it's going to be a slower use it's going to force me to slow down um, it's not a fast camera it's going to force me to time my shots it's going to force me to think about that shot um, yeah, it's digital, so that's a plus. I can get a lot more images than if it was film, um, but it's also bigger, uh, brings a lot more attention to it than say an X100V. And, you know, when it comes to the light, it needs it. Uh, I've tried shooting this camera previously in the dark and it just, it's a no bueno. So let's see how I do with these limitations. You guys let me know what you think about the content that I was able to get while I'm traveling with this camera. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Buddy. 